Hi, my name is Michelle and I am the Area 45 Governor and the Founding President of Imperial College Speakers. Here are my top 10 tips for VPEs. Orientate new members. As soon as a member joins your club, make sure that you explain very clearly to them what the expectation and standard is required of them. Show them how they can book roles, how far in advance they are required to book their roles and also where they can find additional information to help them fulfil the roles to the best of their ability. Get tech savvy. As the VPE there are lots of different technologies and platforms that you will have to use. D71 to book your meetings, Toastmasters.org to file the awards and any other agenda making software that you use. Spend the time at the beginning of your year as VPE getting used to each different platform. Make sure that you have all of the required passwords so that when it comes to doing a particular task, you can do it as quickly and easy and efficiently as possible. Use D71 or another meeting scheduling software religiously. Plan your meetings as far as you can in advance and encourage each of your members to only use this method. Once each meeting has finished, make sure you log what happened using this and you will find that tracking each of your members' progress with their competent communicator and their competent leadership is far easier. Advanced planning. Plan your meetings as far as four meetings in advance and encourage your members to book themselves in for roles for meetings in advance. This encourages them to commit to a particular meeting and it allows you to plan high quality and therefore enjoyable meetings and it also reduces that last minute scramble the night before the meeting or even on the day of the meeting trying to find people to fill in last minute roles. Create an email template. Each week you will have to send out numerous emails to different people on the agenda regarding their role. If you don't know how to create an email template yourself, find somebody who does. It will save a lot of time if your email template can automatically populate with the name of the person on the agenda and the role that they're fulfilling and that you can send that out automatically. You've gone from an hour of sending emails to five minutes. Be available. The VPE is a very time intensive role, yet if you schedule in time within your week that you are acting as the VPE, for example two hours the night before the meeting plus an additional hour sometime midweek to book your roles, you will find that if you handle each of the queries that come up within this time that every person is answered as quick as possible and you are as efficient as possible within your role. Encourage excellence. As the VPE, you are in charge of organising each meeting and this relies on each scheduled member showing up to fulfil their role. If you get last minute cancellations, do follow each person up as soon as you can with a friendly yet firm email explaining that their attendance was missed and also providing your contact details so that they can contact you for the next time. This ensures a smoother running of each meeting. Delegation. The VPE role can be very responsibility heavy and time heavy. Along with the meeting organisation, a lot of VPEs are encouraged to plan and organise the biannual speech competitions. Delegate this. If you have encouraged competent leadership within your club, you should have many members who are ready and willing to take on more responsibility with organising speech contests and other social events. Use the members in your club. Competent leadership. Toastmasters International is where leaders are made. A lot of people neglect the competent leadership track and yet three quarters of these meeting agenda is filled with meeting roles that can be filled in on your competent leadership manual. Remind your president to mention it in their presidential address. Ask members to give workshops on competent leadership 
and you will find that if everybody brings in their competent leadership manual and fills it in for each role that they do, that your competent leadership awards will quickly add up. Have fun! If you've been planning in advance and encouraging your members to plan in advance, then you can plan for fun meetings. Introduce variety and interest to attract new members and to attract your current members to keep coming back. You can have challenges that each member set for each other. You can have backwards meetings. You can have international meetings. You can have different language meetings. Use your imagination and have fun with the role. So those were my top 10 tips for VPEs. I hope you find them useful and I know that the list is not exhaustive. So please let me know what you think and add your tips to VPEs below.